to strip him from his committee assignments on the Hill. Fox News acquiring exclusive new video showing a fire that ignited after a man threw an in, in, a, 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 some sort of device into a Tacoma, Washington ICE facility last month. Fox obtaining the footage from a contractor who worked there, video of that attack coming in just days after shots were fired. You'll remember at another ICE office in San Antonio, Texas. Art Del Cueto is the vice president of the National Border Patrol Council, and he joins us now. Art, first your reaction to that. Disgusting. It's disgusting to see something like that. Um, and I think it's been triggered by way too many individuals that have uh, had a, a platform to speak against the men and women that are trying to defend our nation's borders, the law enforcement communities. I mean, that's where it comes from. There was a recent article that attacked various reporters from Fox, rec it attacked Fox News. It named me on there as well, saying that we were responsible for, or for some of these attacks that happened in El Paso. And, and what was that based on? That was based on us talking about actual facts. And the facts we spoke about is simple. When you have individuals in, in large quantities that mm -hmm. enter another country by force or illegally waving the flag of another country, that is an invasion. I stand by those words. Hold on. So, now, so what, it, what this has caused... Go ahead. Art, what, it, so what this has caused... Art, is obviously, we've got to push back on comments like that. But, People will take issue with you calling it that. It's obviously a sensitive issue right now. So I want to deal with what we saw in this exclusive video with this armed man throwing these devices into this ICE facility last month. This is obviously something that you need to directly respond to because this is, this is something that is alarming. Right, and, the, and these attacks on law enforcement and on, and on ICE facilities and on the individuals that protect our borders is because of the rhetoric that a lot of individuals have been out there uh, talking in it, then those are lies. They've been lying about it, calling them concentration camps, uh, comparing the individuals that are out there wearing the uniform to defend our nation's borders with Nazis. That's where it comes from. And, and that's why it angers me. Because if we're going to be attacked for, for speaking the truth, then, you know, we have to call it like it is. And the individuals that are inciting these attacks need to be called out also. Right. And they're doing it based on lies. And that's the problem. So let's let's deal with what ICE is saying in direct response to this here. They said in the statement that the shots were fired into a second building that also housed ICE related offices. Um, the address of that building was not specified. But what what more can you tell us, though, about what can be done in the wake of of this happening and how this can be toned down? Art? <laughs> At the, at the end of the day, we all got to start acting like Americans, and that's what it comes down to. We're all here for the same cause, and that's to protect American lives, to protect our nation's borders, and we need to stop doing this infighting and, and definitely attacking each other the way uh, it, it's been being shown, you know. Uh, these, these are uh, individuals that go out there, and they're following the law. Okay. They have a job to do, and for them to be in a position where they can potentially be killed by, you know, some deranged lunatic that, uh, you know, probably heard some kind of crazy rhetoric. That's just disgusting to me. All right. Uh, so it, th all this needs to just stop. Tom Holman, who appears on, on this program regularly, former ICE director, he's saying ICE and Border Patrol agents are target, targets uh, for left-wing left extremists. And he's asking the question, where are members of Congress. In particular, he's asking, where are Democrats on this issue and why aren't they condemning this? What is your message? That, I mean, that's, that comes down to the same question. I think at the end of the day, we all need to start behaving like American citizens and we need to start defending Americans' rights. And the way we do that is we stop going back and forth, spewing hateful rhetoric and making false accusations towards each, towards each other. That's what needs to stop. And he writes in his piece, Congress can change the laws if they want, and enough lawmakers support the new laws that they can even override a presidential veto. So he is asking for change. We know many of you are asking for change. We'll see if we get it, but we are obviously watching these as a developing situation. We appreciate your time this morning, Art. Thank you. Thank you. 19 past the hour now. It's our national motto. It's our